So from activities at the executive, let's move to the legislature. The House of Representatives in particular, where a bill for an act to alter the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to provide for a single term of six years for the president and governors has failed to scale second reading in the House. The bill also considered a six-year term for members of the National Assembly and states' houses of assembly. Now, majority of the lawmakers during plenary today rejected the bill, which was sponsored by Honorable John D. from Benue State. Take a listen. presidents allegedly got three, four times more than the first elections. Now, allegedly, this money has come from the coffers of the states, of the government, for the legislature, because of constituencies where there is only one, one tenure. Let us make it six tenures, but it should still be multiple as it is. So, there you have it. Honorable John D.A. joins us on the program tonight to shed more light on this following criticism, especially on social media, and perhaps misunderstanding that has trailed the bill. He's a member of the APC at the House of Representatives. Uh, good evening, uh, and thank you so much for joining us. And also in our Abuja studio is Honorable Dachong Bagos of the PDP uh, Plateau State. Gentlemen, it's great to have you on the show. So, let's uh, begin with Honorable D.A. You're welcome. Now, Honorable Jay, do you think the House made a mistake rejecting this bill? Well, uh, that is the wisdom of the House. Um, in my opinion, I have spoken when it has mattered most in our political history. Um, if you look at the re-election process in Nigeria today, particularly for governors and uh, presidents, you will discover that it is very tough. The our common sense of humanity is always lost when it comes to re-election. Um, you will discover that lives are lost. You will discover that uh, legs are lost, uh, hands are lost. Uh, young people are killed, and so on and so forth. There's a do or die almost uh, kind of effort to get re-elected. Uh, as governors and president. And I'm not talking about any particular governor. I'm not talking about any particular uh, president. It is what has been happening uh, in this country for some time. And I sat down and I said, we cannot continue um, this way. Um, allegedly, like I said earlier uh, on the floor of the House, um, most times, re-elections cost about two, three times, sometimes even more than the first election of any governor and uh, a president. And you discover that most of these monies uh, allegedly come from the coffers of the state. And uh, the economy of the state suffers, the purse of the state suffers. And uh, I sat down and I said, we must do something about this. Uh, the killings must, must be reduced, the, the, the loss of money uh, must be reduced. And I said, okay, uh, let's craft a bill that will take care of this uh, ill, so to speak. Six years single tenure for governors, six years single tenure for presidents. Um, the eight years, which is four plus four to me, uh, given the problems that are on ground after the first four years, practically you will see that, and agree with me also that um, a governor or a president comes in for the first four years, he works for two years practically. The next two years, he's planning a re-election, and there is lots of focus on, on, on governance. So practically, the first tenure of a governor or a president, uh, practically to me, in my analysis, uh, he works only for, he or she works for only for two years, and the other two years is spent for uh, planning for re-election. Okay, let, let's re bring in. which monies are lost and lives are lost. Right, let, let's bring in. Another Let's bring in, pardon me, let's yeah. bring in uh, Honorable Bagos now and get him to respond. Uh, now, Honorable Bagos, you've listened to some of the reasons uh, Honorable De uh, has given for this bill. Do you appreciate this reason? So do you have a, a dissenting opinion as it is? Yeah, um, quite unfortunate. It's, it's an issue that uh, most of us Nigerians have looked into and, uh, and especially in the floor of the House, that's why uh, a lot of members really uh, put down this, uh, the bill on its second reading. In the sense that uh, 
It's not an issue of tenure, but it's an issue of what kind of strong institutions do we have in the country? What kind of leaders do we usually vote into office uh, to various positions, be it president, governors, or, or members of the National Assembly? So uh, you will all agree with me that uh, you will have leaders that you can vote into an office of four years, and within two years, he has delivered. And you have some that will spend eight years, and uh, after that eight years, and it's like he has not been into office. So vis-a-vis, uh, -vis, it, 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 it's the same thing. Whether eight years, or six years, or two years, three years, it depends on the kind of person you put into power. It depends on the strong institutions we have. So I feel and I believe that uh, uh, my elder brother, uh, we'll rethink and start looking at how we're going to have uh, legislation that have to do with, uh, uh, we're going to have a strong institutions that have to do with uh, the judiciary. What but, kind of judiciary are we having in the country? I'd uh, like you the, to. The security, the insecurity he talked about. Right. The kind of really issues that we need to restructure the country in terms of having state police, community policing to address most of these issues. Right. But as an individual, I don't think uh, the tenure of an individual that will stay in office will really determine uh, whether life are lost or whether resources are spent. But to me, the kind of person that gets into office, even if it is one month, he can bring in changes. Honorable Bagos, he mentioned the issue of cost, how much it costs to conduct elections, a second election. And I'm sure you agree with him that if you conduct, if you spend what you'll have spent on two, on, we, on two elections on just one, then it probably makes sense at the end of the day. Yeah, well... In as much as uh, you look at it that way, we have the Electoral Act. The Electoral Act has given us guide on how much we spend in, in, in whatsoever certain elections. But once we have strong institutions, let me give you an example. Why is our elections uh, so expensive? It's because people are hungry all through the four years. And all through the four years, and when you start looking for re-election, people start saying that, ah, well, he has come back, oh, so let's get what we did not get in the past four years. But if in the first four years, uh, you'll be able to give the people the dividends of democracy. People have good uh, education. People, uh, the economy is good. People, uh, people have food on the table and so on and so forth. And it, there is much more. You have addressed the issue of insecurity. You will not spend much even uh, to, uh, uh, to be re-elected into office. Okay, in so this let's, same country, there are Bagos. people that are in the National Assembly right. or governors Honorable Bagos, that do if not I, spend if I may as come much in. as what others have spent. I understand. So, so let's get uh, Honorable Jay's parting shots on this. Uh, Honorable Jay, seeing that this has been shut down by the House, what is next for you? Your final thought. Yeah, well, uh, what matters to me is that I have spoken when it mattered most in the history of this country. Um, I do know and I still insist that we are better off having six years single tenure. Um, I still insist that Eight years is not helping us. Not helping us because practically, practically, a president, um, a governor works in the office for less than six years, if you ask me. And I insist it is best for this country. Um, like I am sure someday we will revisit this issue. Okay, there you have it, Honorable John Deere. Thank you so much for your thoughts on our program tonight. He is a member of the APC at, at the House of Representatives. He was also joined by Honorable Dachan Bagos of PDP in Blatt's of State. Thank you uh, for your time on the program tonight. Well, that's our show for today. Many thanks for watching. But you can go to our YouTube page right now to rewatch the episode and other episodes uh, of politics today at this time. We have great content for you there, so don't miss that opportunity. And don't forget to subscribe also. Thank you. I'm Kaido Kikiolu to have a beautiful night.